So for me, the main thing to remember for SAP implementation is that you should plan really well before you start. Yeah? So take your time to understand what your company needs, set clear goals, and come up with a good plan to make sure your company gets the most out of SAP. Welcome to this PLM video on implementing SAP Enterprise Product Development, where we explore the best practices for success. I am your host, Sarah May, and today we are privileged to tap into the wisdom of our SAP experts. Let's get into the introductions of each of these experts rolling. Hello, everyone. My name is Ayan Pandey. I am part of the project management unit, primarily in the PLM area. My focus is to connect customer needs with the technology and the innovation surrounding us and ultimately establishing the value journey for customers with our PLM solutions. Yeah, my name is Daniel Horstman. I'm a business process consultant in the area of product lifecycle management based in our SAP headquarters in Germany. My job is to show our customers how they can get the most out of our SAP product. Hello. My name is Selma Benchikama. I'm a business process consultant in the engineering and maintenance team for the solution SAP EPD in Germany. My name is Tolnay Mendil and I'm also a business process consultant in the same team as Selma for the solution SAP Enterprise Product Development in Germany. Hi everybody, my name is Yodis Kanuto. I'm the head of PLM Consulting in North America and I have been working with PLM for more than 15 years. Glad to be here. Hello, I'm Yash Agrawal. I'm a senior project manager with the SAP Digital Supply Chain PLM Cloud Acceleration Team. My journey with PLM started six years ago, and I'm, I see new and exciting times coming up for the PLM space. Now that you have an idea on who our experts are and understand a little bit about their PLM experiences, let's get right into the first question. But before we dive into the intricate details, let's set the stage for the discussion. So over to our first two pairs to answer the questions. Why a successful EPD implementation is such a vital thing in an organization for optimizing their product development? Can you throw some light to it? Yeah, Ian, uh, let me try to answer this one. So the most important aspect of a successful EPD implementation is that it makes the work more productive. Yeah? So it helps your product development teams getting things done more faster, reduces the need for doing the same task over and over again, to in the end saves time and money. Yeah? Another really good thing about using SAP EPD is that it helps teams working together better. SAP EPD enables real-time collaboration among cross-functional teams, providing them with a centralized platform to work together. This will overall ensure better decision-making and leads into higher quality products. What are the key challenges that organizations commonly face when implementing SAP EPD? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the key challenge is to build the final process which should be implemented in EPD for our customers. We have developed a fixed procedure for this. With this procedure, we guarantee the customer that the final process is to be desired and needed process. For this, we first design a process diagram. In the second step, we implement this process diagram in one of our internal systems. Then we are getting feedback from the customer and only then we start with the final implementation in the customer system. 